We all know that Tessa was a real vengeful bitch. Your doppelganger, Amara, died at her hands. But today, after 2,000 years, Amara and I will finally reunite. All right, skip the mushy parts. Look, my girl here is just trying to have a good day. And there are promises she's expecting you to keep. Oh, you don't think that I keep my promises? You said that now that you're a witch again, you would bring Bonnie back from the other side. I did, and I can. And you promised Damon that you would do that if he helped you. Yeah. But you're kind of evil. No offense. None taken. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can trust that one of your last acts in this world will be to bring my best friend back. Did you want me to pinky swear? She's trying to have a good day. Just tell her how it's gonna go down. I just want to destroy the other side so I don't get stuck in that pit of a purgatory when I finally do kill myself. Before I do that, I'll bring Bonnie back. And being the amazing and incredible and all-powerful witch that I am, I can totally do both things. I just have to find the anchor first and destroy it. The anchor? Silas is looking for the anchor. It's the object I used to bind the spell when I created the other side. Destroy it, the spell's broken. No more supernatural limbo. And Silas can die and find peace. I'd rather his lying, cheating ass not have that. Great, fine, I approve. Where is it? New Jersey. The supernatural other world is bound by an object in Snooky's backyard. It's in a stockyard and it's being shipped out, so we really need to. Hello, Hunter. Banner day for you, huh? Didn't you and the Bennett witch used to, uh. Hey, knock it off, okay? It's okay, Jer. We all want the same thing today Silas dead, Bonnie alive. Yeah. AKA, put the damn crossbow down, Pocahontas. We're just supposed to believe that he's gonna bring Bonnie back to life out of the goodness of his heart? Well, I hope not. I mean, I am kind of a monster. You know, guys, I'm feeling really ganged up on right now, okay? I would hate to lose my temper and do something crazy. Uh, man, I, I really love being a witch again. I, I feel like I'm constantly reinventing myself. I, I'm like a supernatural Madonna, don't you think? So, a Silas read your mind and figure out where the anchor is. Now what? You know that old ancient story I told you about the travelers? Oh wait, you don't. I tried your brain and took your memories, sorry. But the travelers, you know how Silas wants to destroy the other side so he can be at peace with that slut Amara that he calls his one true love? The travelers don't want that. Why not? Not important. Scratch that, very important. I'm just not gonna answer it. Um, you know what, I, I think I still need to be drunk to understand this story. The travelers have been in possession of the anchor for 2,000 years. They constantly move it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. And they're not gonna let him get near it. At least not before I kill him. Yeah, well, what if they fail? He won't destroy it. He won't be able to. Why not? Let's just file that under the not gonna answer it category. All right, we gotta get going. You, grab a crowbar four from the garage. What for? Does it matter? You, you're not going. Men only. Are you serious? He's not serious. No, he's not serious. Actually, I'm 100% serious. She's a freaky carbon copy of my one true love, Amara. You can understand why I don't want to stare at her imposter face all day. That makes no sense. It would make complete sense if you were ever in love with anybody who looked exactly like her. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're bringing my best friend back from the dead. I'm going. <sighs> Next one goes in the heart. Now hurry up, I only have until sundown before Tessa tries to stop me. 